counting forwards and backwards. When we count forwards, it means you start with a number of a lower value and move on to numbers with a higher value. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we are counting forwards using single digit numbers. Remember, a single digit number is any number between zero to nine. The single digit number zero has the lowest value and the single digit number nine has the highest value. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here we are counting forwards using two digit numbers from 10 to 20. Remember a two digit number is any number between 10 all the way to 99. In this number line, the two digit number 10 has the lowest value and the two digit number 20 has the highest value. Now let's work through some examples. Joe has four lollipops. He adds two more. How many lollipops does Joe have? First, you need to start at four because there are four lollipops. Then, we need to add on two more. Five, six. So, Joe has six lollipops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four plus two equals six. Lucy has five fish in her fish tank. She adds three more. How many fish does Lucy have? Start at five because there are five fish. And add on three more. Six, seven, eight. So she has eight fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three equals eight. Tim has ten marbles in his bag. He adds four more. How many marbles does Tim have? Start at ten because there are ten marbles and add on four more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So he has 14 marbles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 10 plus 4 equals 14. Now let's learn about counting backwards. When we count backwards, it means you start with a number of a higher value and move back to numbers with a lower value. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Here, we are counting backwards using single digit numbers. Remember, a single digit number is any number between 0 and and nine. The single digit number nine has the highest value and the single digit number zero has the lowest value. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Here we are counting backwards using the two digit numbers from 10 to 20. 
Remember, a two-digit number is any number between 10 all the way to 99. In this number line, the two-digit number 20 has the highest value and the two-digit number 10 has the lowest value. Now let's work through some examples. Here are five frogs. If two frogs jump away, then how many frogs are left? Start at five because there are five frogs. Then count back two. Four, three. So there are three frogs left. Five minus two equals three. Lena has seven pencils in her bag. She gives her friend four pencils. How many pencils does Lena have? Start at seven because she has seven pencils. Then count back four. Six, five, four, three. So Lena has three pencils. So seven minus four equals three. Tina has 20 strawberries. She eats six. How many strawberries does she have left? Start at 20 because she has 20 strawberries. Then count back six. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. So she has 14 strawberries left. 20 minus 6 equals 14. A number line is very useful when counting forwards or backwards. We can also count in steps of 2, 3, 5 and 10. This can make counting a lot easier. Let's look at how we can count forwards in steps. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Here we're counting forwards in steps of 2. 3, 6, 9. Here we're counting forwards in steps of 3. 0, 5, 10. Here we're counting forwards in steps of 5. We can also count backwards in steps. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. Here we're counting backwards in steps of 2. 10, 5, 0. Here we're counting backwards in steps of 5.